Hey everybody. You guys are gonna be on YouTube now. There you go. Yeah, everybody. We're getting wheels for the uh, Paradise uh, catamaran. And so they're assembling them now. But you can come down to any motorcycle shop that, and they usually sell rims, whatever color, anodized, blue, gold, silver, orange, whatever color, green, whatever color you want. And they can uh, build uh, whatever hubs you got, like these are for Honda XRM. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so, and I'm getting all stainless steel stuff. The hubs are aluminum. The bearing, though, is not stainless. It's regular. And the, uh, the bushing inside is regular, but I pack the inside of these uh, hubs with, uh, with the green grease. Yeah, with this here synthetic lithium marine grease. I packed them with that solid to uh, help uh, keep the water out of the inside there. Just it'll just displace it. The rims, by the way, if you can see the flag there on the wheel, that's the Thai flag, so they're made in Thailand. But uh, you're going to get tires too, so you can get whatever size tires. I'm getting bigger, fatter tires, fat tires, because like I said, this is for the boat. We're going to be rolling it out in and out of the beach where there's sand, soft sand, so I need the fattest tire I can get. I'm getting a 90-80 by 17 inch, that's 17 inch rim there. So they got 14 inch rims and 17 inch rims. And you can get aluminum rims too. They're all aluminum, but um, they're more expensive. And uh, these are stainless, uh, aluminum and stainless. So I figured I'd be better off with that than all aluminum and paying a higher price too. So, you guys will see the trailer that I make for the, if these are going to be like, you know, like those suitcases you see where the, you pop up the handle and the wheels are on on the back and you roll them through the airport. Basically, that's what we're doing with the catamaran. We're putting these wheels on, on the back. I will strap them on the back. I'm going to have stainless steel mounts and stuff made. And then we'll just lift up the front, and probably two men can roll it in and out of the ocean. All right. So it looks like we got the wheels pretty much assembled, and we're tuning them now. This is this is the machine you put them on and make sure that they're straight, so they tighten and adjust the spokes to make it true. That this is truing it. So they got a little bolt there. This is goes through the axle, and then they adjust a couple of screws there to see how it runs out. Hey, folks. What we're doing today is we're mounting the tires. I got some tires here for these, uh, for the trailer. So I got as wide as I could. These are 80 90s. 80, 80 90 by 17. 80 is the height of the tire, like basically sidewall height, and 90 is the width here. So this is wide, this is the wide lower profile tire, but I want wide so it uh, doesn't bog down in the sand when I'm rolling it out of the ocean. All right, everybody, we are welding up the extensions and the bracing and some additional uh, strengthening of these uh, uh, wheel axle thingies that I made, uh, dolly, uh, wheel, dolly wheel, wheel, wheel dolly, whatever, trailer do dolly, let's call it that, trailer dolly right here so what we did we added these blocks here because this sits under the boat and this part touches the bottom of the boat so when we pull the strap tight it doesn't bend that up some so we made all that straight by adding this piece here and strengthen it we also raised this from here which is this actually used to be down here and then we made these little teepee like uh, things here and then welded the that full up here to get the additional height so this will raise the uh wheel up the bottom of the boat actually about four inches higher it was about 10 inches above the ground now it's now it's about 14 so that's better and we're just uh, finishing up all the welding we're making full welds on these so that uh, everything is locked solid hey everybody look what we have we have a boat with wheels yeah so this is a temporary uh testing here we're just hanging all this stuff up, these come-alongs and stuff. 
to see how well this holds and if we need any others because I can run a strap from here all the way under the center part up to that cleat and I can run one from over here from this hoop all the way up to that cleat if we have a forward backward issue and I don't think we do because we can't we've tried to pull this thing we didn't try it too hard because it's setting on tires and stuff but we got this is what we're going to wind up with here it's not going to be tight like that's going to be sewed it's going to be sewn like a regular uh, this will be looped through here and, and, and sewn to there. So it'll be like a normal, it, yeah, like this. You see how that's sewn? That'll be the same thing for all these. I got a bunch of those. And we're gonna use these blue straps for everything because they're quick. You loop this through, pull that cord through there, or pull this strap through here, it locks down, you're done. This one, you have to run it through. You gotta get the length right. You got extra stuff here. You gotta go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You don't have any of that with the uh, stuff. So yeah, so she's running, she's rolling smooth. So we're gonna try to see how heavy it is. We're gonna take it off of here and we're gonna uh, uh, pick it up and just give it a test roll over some rocks and stuff. Just kind of go back and then kind of come back here and park it and just see how it handled all this rough terrain. Cause to get it to the ocean, we gotta go over a bunch of this rough terrain to all these rocks and stuff they're everywhere between here and the ocean so anyway that's what we did you want to see the underneath here's the underneath here see that see how i got it all rigged up so that is the underneath that i made and everything else we're looking pretty good i think Hi, okay, just look at there. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Ah, Look at the tires. Huh? All right. First, we're putting the rope on here. Now we can get men on this side and all the way through here. So, honey, honey here. Yeah, watch the tire. Wait. Watch the tire. The tire. Is yeah, they go up higher. Okay, we're gonna have to pick it up and move that side. They're picking it up. He's dragging the tire. Is that good? Yeah, and you tell him go. Yeah, more. Okay. Don't be that good. We're getting it even at the front here. Okay. Now we'll put the box and the tires under there. Honey, honey, you're supposed to be doing this, honey. You're supposed to be doing this. I'm supposed to be helping. One more. Napay usa kuya. Ito ko na rin. 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 Ito ko na rin.
That was a good that was a good test folks. There we had to wrestle wrestle that boat around. It's still heavy and it's still a little cumbersome. On a beach or something like that, it might be easier, but I would still advise four men to manage it. Uh, and right, folks, we are now making fashion belts. Oh, wait a minute. This is not a fashion belt. She thinks it's a fashion belt, but it's not a fashion belt. This is uh, the belt for the to hold the uh, the wheels on the boat. So we got all these custom custom fit and links and stuff. We got them sewed up here like that on this clip here. We got uh, nine of these we're doing. The boat requires eight, but I got one extra one that I made. So we're actually sewing them on right now. And making them, making them Baraco. Baraco, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. See, she's showing how to do the fashion belt. <laughs> yeah, if you need a belt, a strong belt too, and you just pull this tight. See this thing here? You push down on here, and it opens up. See all those little teeth there? Man, those things grab. And you just pull the strap through there, and then you let go, and it ain't going. And then you pull, because you can pull through it this way, but you can't go backwards. And once you pull that thing, man, it's it just pulls up so tight, and it doesn't slip. And then when you want to let go, which I thought it'd be hard because this is bound up tight, but you just push down here and it just pops off. Easy. So we got these on uh, Shopee for about 95 pesos each. Stainless steel. Uh, they claim to be 316 or 304 grade, but they're like more like 202. In the spring, I don't know what the spring's made from, but it ain't... Uh, it ain't high grade because it's magnetic, but I don't know if stainless makes good spring, so maybe they had to make it like that so anyway that's it folks we got these guys here they're all down on the floor he's sewing them all in making it fancy and we will be back with more Yeehaw. getting the straps for the wheels for the boat paradise all right folks we got them we made them all there's one really long there all right thank you Nice work. Nice work here. Yeah, these guys here always do good work. Just in a poster shop here, and it's in Liloan, and they all do really good work. And this guy here does all of my all sewing. Right. Just got back from the upholstery shop, and we got all these little lockdown straps sewed. See that? Nice sewing. They do always do good work there at that upholstery shop. I do business with them. And uh, the cost was 20 pesos. To sew each one and they just zip 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 zip, zip you, know, you know they're so fast and anyway so this is what it looks like when it's strapped on just like that so if it's strapped like that we are good and this stuff